Hola y bienvenidos a la clase de Español 1. Welcome to Spanish 1. My name is Mr. Martin and what your child is going to experience in the Spanish 1 classroom is a very fun, interactive, game-like environment where students are learning a new language while also enjoying themselves. By the end of the course they should be able to hold simple conversations that will enable them to spark uh, communication between themselves and some of the two million different Spanish speakers that live in New York City. My office hours are from 2 to 3.30 p.m. And should you ever need to contact me, my email address is smartin16 at charter.newvisions.org. I've been with Advanced Math and Science 3 for going on eight years now. And every year I re-innovate my class and add some new exciting topics. So uh, this year, what do, what do we expect? Well, your child is going to learn an introduction to the basics of Spanish, greeting each other, using manners. They're going to be able to discuss themselves, describe themselves and their family. They're going to be able to have conversations regarding what happens at school, sports, discuss music, and interact with the community. By the end of the course, they should be able to hold conversations about everyday topics. So what does a typical day in the Spanish classroom look like? We're building vocabulary. Students are speaking, using the Spanish, working on their pronunciation, not just speaking, but also writing in Spanish. And at the same time, they're having fun and building community. And after Spanish 1, what can you expect for the future? Well, Spanish 2 and Spanish 3 and our newly added AP Advanced Placement Spanish prepares students further and further to pass the city exam. This exam is called the Languages Other Than English exam from New York City and with a few extra steps and a, and a little bit more preparation, your child could have the ability to earn an advanced Regents Diploma if they can have fun for, for three years in the Spanish classroom and pass that exam. I'd also like to quickly mention some of the topics that you can expect your student to be talking about. They may come home and speak Spanish to you. You may or may not have any idea what they're talking about. But in our first unit, which we are currently in, we're going to be learning basic survival phrases. Especially now in remote learning, we've focused on particular phrases that are useful through the Zoom classroom. In our next upcoming units, we'll be having vocabulary around discussing classes and school describing ourselves, describing our family, and describing our house. Towards the second half of the year, we get to talk about food, which is one of the most exciting units. We get to discuss sports, health, and describing vacations and trips. If you're wondering how the grading policy works for Spanish class, Usually the smaller assignments like studying the vocabulary for homework fall into this category of the 5 to 15 points. When we do longer assignments that require more preparation and speaking and um, demonstrating your skills, those are in the tier 2 category of 16 to 30 points. And generally once a month there will be some type of culminating assessment, whether it is a quiz or whether it is a project that showcases your students' skills.